Hey, my name is Sean. My name is Sean. This is going to be a deck gameplay video for Bergy God of Storm. This is going to be a turn 2 win. I like this hand, this gameplay, because it shows the resilience of the deck. I was forced to, I gambled for Underworld Breach and I'm having to discard that to gamble. And then I was also forced to wheel away my Aetherflux Reservoir. So, the storm count, there will be a storm, a live storm count and a live mana count. Obviously they are a little bit off from what I say in the video, but those are the real storm and mana counts. So, thank you guys for watching. If there's any videos you'd like to see, please comment those down below. And if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's get into this first sample hand. Let's see what we got. I'm not going to keep this just because no lands is not good. Restart. This is a way better hand. We have a ton of fast mana. We have draws. We have tutors. We have a lot of good stuff in this hand. Drop or turn one. It's a Flamekin Harmbringer. Tap. View all. Get a mountain into play. Lose a life. Shuffle the library, play a mana crypt. Actually, let's see. Let's see, how can we generate enough mana? Actually, play a just a mana vault this turn and pass. Because we don't have any race, we don't have any, yeah. So next turn, draw a kobolds. Tap, tap with the color, we'll leave a colorless floating. Cast a bergy. So we'll, we will have storm count one with one colorless floating. Cast a mana crypt and a kobolds. Up to two red and a colorless. And up to a storm count of three. Cast a warlord's fury. Storm count four. Draw another card. Uh, play a lion's eye diamond here. Up to five storm count. Uh, storm count at five. Three red and one colorless. Then we're going to go play a gamble. Probably going to gamble for a Jessica's Will in this case. Or actually a Wheel of Fortune is the better. Definitely better. Wheel of, For Wheel of Fortune. Shuffle our library. We'll roll it. We will go up to a storm kind of six when we cast that. We will roll six sided dice. We roll the three. Discard the Harbringer. Play a Wheel of Fortune up to seven storm count, down to two red. Wheel away a Enigmatic Insight and a Pass in Flames. Draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's see. Play a Everflowing Chalice on for zero, up to three red, storm count at eight. Play a land for turn in a mountain. Uh, play a skull clamp and a skull clamp and a soul ring up to 10 storm count, still at 3 red. We can then play a thrill of possibility down to 2 red, storm count of storm count of 11. Draw two cards, play a Crimson Whips, draw another card, it's up to three red, or still at three, two red, up to Storm Count of 12, and let's see, let's cast a, let's see, let's go to our graveyard quickly. Tap for colorless. Tap for two colorless. Tap for another two colorless to actually untap, untap. Spend, go down to one red to equip a skull clamp to kobolds. Draw two cards and okay. So let's see what we're gonna do here. Now I have to tap. 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 V tap 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 and then flashback a past in flames. 
give all up to storm count of 13, giving all of our instants and uh, one red mana, giving all of our instant sorceries flashback. I'm going to crack a lion's eye diamond. Actually, cannot do that now. We will play a gamble. Sh shuffle, I mean, the your library, not shuffle, it doesn't really matter. We're still going to look for a underworld breach. Shuffle the library now. Put breach into hand. Exile wheel of fortune. Storm counts at 14. Still at one red floating. Uh, let's see. We need to f roll a dice. Roll a six sided dice. We rolled. Well, I mean, roll a one six sided dice. We roll a six. And of course, discard our breach, which is very unfortunate. Now we will just crack our lion's eye diamond. Up to four red. And let's see, what do we have in the graveyard? Cast a Crimson Whips. Storm Comp to 15. Still at 4 red. Draw a card. Cast a Thrill of Possibility. Down to 3 red. Up to Storm Comp of 16. Discarding this to draw 2 cards. Cast a we Warlord's Fury. Storm count up to 17 to draw an additional card. Put all these into exile. Well, this into the graveyard and these into exile. Cast an Overmaster. Storm count up to 18. Draw an additional card. Cast an Expedite. Storm count up to 19. Draw an additional card. Let's see, we have Aether Flux Reservoir now. Cast a chromatic star up to still at three red, a storm kind of up to twenty. Sack it to draw a card and add a mana. Cast a lotus petal up to four red at the moment. View all, let's see. Cast a walking ballista for down to three red with one 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 counter on it. Equip a skull clamp to it down to well up to, up to storm count twenty one on the ballista down to two red on the skull clamp. Whoops. Draw two cards. Play a jewel lotus up to three red. Play a renegade tactics. Storm count at 23, draw an additional card. Is like view all, let's see. Cast a Wheel of Fortune. Uh, cast a Wheel of Fortune down to one red, storm count 24. Uh, let's see, what should we do? We have two options. We can cast Double Wheel of Fortune to draw a dish. Let's see. We'll just discard our hand and actually. The biggest problem right now is that we cannot win through A. Actually. Let us or just Infernal Plunge. Cast an Infernal Plunge. We're still at 3 red. Cast an Infernal Plunge from the graveyard. Up to 6 red. Sacking Bergy. Then crack this. And spend 2 additional mana. So now we're at 4 red. Cast Bergy. Storm counts at at least 26. We have four red floating. Or wait, actually, before we let's go back. Let's take off another red. Go down to three red here, and before Bergy dies, we're gonna before we infernal plunge it. We will skull clamp it. 
so that we draw two cards off this. So we're at three red at the moment. So let's see what we're going to have to do. Okay, we're going to have to cast a Wheel of Fortune, looks like. Cast a Wheel of Fortune from the graveyard. Discarding one, two, and three. Storm count at 27. One red floating. Draw seven cards. This goes to exile. Seven. Draw seven cards. Okay. Let's see what we have now. Play a Skirk Prospector. Storm count 28. Crack Prospector. Crack a Lotus Petal. Let's go up to Storm count 29. Play a Helm of Awakening. Cast a Conjurer's Bobble for free. Up to two red. Wait, let's see. Can we, do we, the question is, do we skull clamp it for two additional cards, or... This we cast from our graveyard it should be an exile. I actually cast a magmatic insight from our graveyard. Still at one red to draw two cards. This goes to exile discarding that. Draw two cards. There we go. Crack the conjurer's bobble too. We'll be at a storm count of 31 at the moment. Crack the Conjurer's Bobble to draw an additional card. Play a Mox Amber now. Storm count up to 32. Play a Mem Knight. Storm count up to 33. We'll go up to 4 red now. Cast a Jessica's Will. Down to 2 red and then up to 9 red. Or down to 3 red and then up to 10 red. Storm count 34. Exile the top 1, 2, and 3. Play a crash through. Storm count 35. To draw an additional card. Play a cobalt. Storm count 36. Up to 11 red. Cr uh, spend 1 red to sacrifice cobalt and draw 2 cards. Spend another red. Down to 9 red to use Skull Clamp to use Memmet to draw two cards. Play a Kobolds up to 10 red. Storm count 37. Sack the Kobolds to, or er, equip the Skull Clamp to the Kobolds. Down to 9 red to draw two more cards. Now we have Grinning Ingus for infinite casts, and that's going to be the, probably the win here. Yeah, so we have 9 red mana floating right now. Cast a Grinning Ingus, Triggering Bergy. We get to then Bergy Triggers. We get to Bergy Triggers adding one red. We can then pay that one red to return this to our hand and add three red. Three red, cast it again. Get one red with Bergy. Spend that one red to return to our hand and add three. Spend the three mana to recast it. Add one red. Go infinite with this infinite times. Cast it for x equals one mil x equals infinity, and then cast a grape shot, dealing infinite damage to each of our opponents. So that's going to be a turn two win. We end up casting 37 cards or more before casting the grinning ingus. There will be a mana count that it will be put in afterwards, and also a storm count that'll be put in afterwards, but. So far, according to this, we cast 37 cards before casting Ingus and winning the game. So, thank you guys for watching. This was a turn to win. Thank you guys for watching, and hope you enjoyed.